What's going on, everyone? I'm former NFL player Tremaine Stevens, and I'm here to talk about two of the most electrifying young wide receivers to come out of college in recent years, Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson. Both had illustrious careers at LSU and are now tearing it up in the NFL. But who's better? Let's dive into this hot debate and why I think Jamar Chase might have an edge over Justin Jefferson. I've got 10 reasons for you, so let's dive right in. Reason 10, college production in limited time. Let's start with their college years. In 2019, Jamar Chase had a mind-blowing season, logging 1,180 yards and 20 touchdowns. Despite sitting out in 2020, Chase's single season stats are among the best ever for a college receiver. His performance won him the Biletnikoff Award, which is given to the best receiver in college football. This was done in the SEC, known for its challenging defensive matchups. Reason nine, physical attributes, size, and strength. While both are athletically gifted, Chase has a robust build that makes him harder to tackle it. Chase stands at six foot and weighs around 201 pounds, giving him a strong center of gravity. His build allows him to bully defensive backs and make contested catches. Combine this with his incredible vertical leap. And you've got a player who can high point the ball against taller defenders. And have you seen the man's calves? He definitely does not skip leg day. Reason eight, explosiveness off the line. When you watch Chase, his burst off the line is evident through his explosive movement and his violent drive toward the defensive back. He is on him so fast that they have no idea what kind of route he is going to run. His first few steps allow him to gain separation quickly from cornerbacks. Not to mention the fact that in his pro day, Chase's 40 yard dash time was an impressive eye popping 4.38 seconds. This initial burst makes him a nightmare on short slants, intermediate routes, and deep routes. Reason seven, versatility on the field chase is one of those rare breed of athletes that can play all over the field. You can line him up anywhere and he is going to be effective outside, slot, or even in the backfield. At LSU, Chase was used in multiple formations, showcasing his versatility. Since he has been with the Bengals, they have used him in many formations, both on the inside and on the outside. His ability to adapt makes it harder for defenses to predict where he'll be. In the NFL, this flexibility gives opposing defensive coordinators nightmares and means the Bengals offensive coordinators can get more creative with their game planning and play Cali. Recent six, hand skills hands down, no point intended. Chase has some of the best hands I've seen in a young receiver. He attacks the ball as it is coming to him to give him the best chance to catch it. But his soft touch allows him the ability to catch everything in his catch radius. His drop rate is remarkably low for a player targeted as frequently as he is. He can make difficult catches look routine, one-handed grabs, toe tappers on the sideline, you name it. And Chase's strong hands mean that even when a DB is draped over him, he's still likely to come down with the ball. Reason five, yards after catch, one word, playmaker. Chase isn't content just making the catch. He wants to make something happen afterwards. Very rarely do you see him go down with one defender trying to tackle him. In 2019, Chase Evregged nearly seven yards after the catch at LSU. His combination of speed, agility, and strength makes him hard to bring down in open space. This skill translates to big plays and game-changing moments in the NFL. Reason four, chemistry with Joe Burrow. Listen, it doesn't hurt that the man throwing the ball to Chase is one of the most talented quarterbacks in the NFL today. Joe Burrow was once the quarterback for both Jefferson and Chase at LSU, but now Chase has Joe Cool all to himself, and that connection is something special. Burrow and Chase combined for historic numbers at LSU and have continued that trend in the NFL. Having that chemistry allows them to exploit defenses, knowing exactly where the other will be on any given play. This connection has seamlessly transitioned to the NFL, making them one of the top QBWR duos. Reason three, ability to handle press coverage. In the NFL, the best receivers have to be able to handle press coverage. 
these cornerbacks are bigger and stronger now and they don't want to just let a wide receiver have a free release off the line. Chase excels in press coverage. Due to his strength and quick footwork, Chase often breaks free from press situations. His knowledge of when to use his hands and when to use his feet gives him an edge. NFL corners have mentioned in interviews how difficult it is to jam Chase at the line. Reason two, maturity and work ethic. I've always said talent will get you to the NFL, but character and work ethic keep you there. Chase's decision to opt out of the 2020 college season to focus on the NFL draft showcased his maturity and long-term vision. Teammates both at LSU and in the NFL regularly speak about his relentless work ethic and practices. This drive ensures that he continues to refine his craft and get better each season. Reason one, clutch factor. The biggest moments require the biggest plays made by big time players. Chase has consistently shown up when it matters most. In college, in big games against the likes of Alabama and Clemson, Chase delivered standout performances. In the NFL, he's already made several key grabs in late game situations. The fourth quarter is when he seems to show up even more. His confidence in these moments isn't common for a young receiver, but Chase seems to thrive under pressure. Now, don't get me wrong, Justin Jefferson is an outstanding receiver, and the league is fortunate to have both of these talents. This isn't to downplay Jefferson's talent at all. This is merely an analysis based on current data, performances, and my personal opinion. Whichever side of the debate you're on, one thing's for sure. The future of the NFL is bright with these two on the field. But if I had to pick, these reasons tilt the scale in favor of Jamar Chase for me. I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.